What's up YouTube, Autocon360 here, back again with another review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Marvel Medicom Mafex number 82, Deadpool, the Gurukiri art version. Um, so here we are, and there he is, and let me start off by saying that I absolutely love this figure. It's just a fantastic piece. It's my first Medicom Mafex figure, um, and it's a very good way for me to really get into this line um, and see what this company is all about. Let's go ahead and take a look at this packaging so that we can get on with this review. So we have what is basically your standard Medicom Mafex packaging, uh, just an image of the figure there and the title of it. And of course, all of your stamps here at the bottom. Deadpool at the top, nice window. Um, nice picture of Deadpool there on the side. Your obligatory product shot showing you what you get in the package. Your official stamp of approval from Medicom at the bottom. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get this cracked open and we'll take a look at what is inside. This is how you know I buy more figure arts than I do Medicom figures because I just try to open it from the side and it opens from the top. <laughs> so let's get to it. Now, unlike with the SH figure arts figures, Medicom does not include instructions with theirs, or at least my copy didn't come with instructions, so I just kind of had to wing everything. Um, but let's start off by taking a look at this stand. Now, everybody talks about how good Medicom's stands are. I don't like this stand because the... These stands, I've heard this before, and I've experienced it now, um, but these stands do come with loose joints. The Tomashi Nation stands come with nice, stiff joints. Um, not Well, not stiff, but comfortable joints that will hold a position. These won't hold anything. This stand cannot support his weight in a jumping position. Um, and this clamp is too big to go around him. It did not fit his waist. Like, it just swallowed him and then it slid up into his torso and it didn't hold him secure at all. But I mean, it's fine if you think these are better. That's wonderful. Me personally, I don't like it. It's loose. Like all of it is loose. I just don't like it. Um, but it does plug in nice. It plugs into the base itself nice, um, but it just doesn't hold any weight. So if you like it, that's fine. Like, like I'm having trouble picking it in because that joint wants to turn. I've never had that issue with a Tomashi Nation stand. It's never tried to fight me to play it in. And, like, look at that. So, not a big fan of the stand. But anyway, moving on to the rest of his accessories. Um, we have three heads, a his harness and his sheaths. We have two swords, eight sets of hands, and three belt buckle pieces. Um... So let's go ahead here and we'll take a look at his harness first. Um, so his harness, just, it's a harness. It's kind of a stiffer plastic. Um, it's definitely not as soft as what we got on the Juggernaut Builder Figure Wave uh, Deadpool from Marvel Legends. But um, the sheath do plug into the back. Um, it all comes together in the box. Um, and then these sword hilts are just little pieces that are just there to tab in. Um, just for the aesthetic so they can keep that slender look of the sheath. Um, so you just unplug this and then you would plug in one of the swords into his hand. Um, which I'm fine with. It doesn't really matter. I've seen this before. Uh, they did it with all the trunks that have come with swords. Um, so this is nothing new. Really cool. Nice paint on the swords. The red and the black and the silver. All looks really good. Um, the brown looks good. Perfectly fine with that. Um, Go ahead here and we'll take a look at the swords. Um, nice silver on the blades, make them all shiny. Um, and then again, same red and black on the hilts. Um, but let's take a look at the heads here. I wish he came with four heads um, because I want a wide open eyed one. Um, this one works for just the right side anyway, if I want a wide open expression on it. But since it's doing the squinting look, it doesn't really work, but it does have good shading around the chin and neck area and also around the ears. Um, and this also does tend to be my favorite head, um, but I would have liked to have seen a wider open eye head. Um, then we have a squinting eye head. Um, again, same shading on around the chin and everything. Actually, it's a little bit lighter on this one than it is on this one, which I'm just noticing now. Um, but yeah, still it's good. Got his angry eyes. Um, and this one is a little bit more shading, I think, than this one. Eh, 
This one's actually about the same, but this is the neutral head that comes on him in packaging. Um, so yeah, looks good. Nice seam lines, just like the other ones. Well, let's look at the belt buckles. Um, we have the wider open-eyed one. It's cool, nice red. Um, we have the red eyes um, one, and then we have the angry eyes. One. And then here we have the hands. So we have a pair of fisted hands that come with them in packaging. Nice shading on the knuckles. Looks good. I just dropped it. And then we have the sword holding hands. Again, nice shading. And the, the swords do just plug in here. You just plug in here. They just plug in here. Come on. Come on. There we go. You just got to get it past that um, end of the hilt where it is a little bit wider. Um, ciao. Looks good. Yeah. Be careful with that paint, though. Um, and again, nice shading on them as well. And we have some trigger finger hands with, again, nice shading. Um, even though it doesn't come with any guns. But... Don't worry, I have it covered. So if you've bought any of the other Deadpools that have come out recently, you have plenty of guns. More guns, more guns, and more guns, more guns, and bazooka. Here's a water gun. Here's another gun. And here's another gun. Um, so yeah, you have no shortage of guns if you bought almost every Deadpool that's come out like I have um, and he he will hold these just fine um, take the pistols from the juggernaut Deadpool slide them right in they look good looks great um, take the rifle here that fits in real real nice we have the relaxed hands which again nice shading on the gloves looks cool here we have the wide open hands, I guess for key blast, maybe? I don't know, but they're here. <laughs> uh, here we have some thumbs up hands. Uh, we have the, I can never remember what this sign is. Hanging loose, there we go, hanging loose. Got those, and we have finger guns. So yeah, let's get some hands and stuff on him and bring him back over for a closer look. All right, so figure I will show you how to install everything as well. So first we'll do the belt buckle because that does seem the easiest to do. Uh, so a simple peg port and we just peg it right in and it you can just kind of line it up to your liking. There you go. That's simple. Um, next we'll do the sheaths for his swords. So um, you do have to pop off the arm. Um, that is why they are looser. Um, now, I have heard reports of some people's being really loose, which that is unfortunate. But mine are nice and snug when they're on. Work good. Don't come off at all. Um, they work great. So, yeah, just kind of pop it off. You can pop both of them off, but I just pop one off. You just feed it up the other arm and then wrap it around his back. And then just plug the arm back on because it's a ball joint and you can take your hands here they are just pegs and ports which i was a little worried about them not being ball joints but again that's just because i'm used to the sh figure art stuff and that's all connected with ball joints but the peg pegs right on nice and snug not really any trouble with qc or anything i've plugged all the hands on everything is a nice snug fit and for the head it is just on a ball joint and just like that, there you have the Medicom Mafex Deadpool. Um, and yeah, he's a really good looking figure. Now you can definitely look at him and tell that he is styled after someone's artwork. I noticed that immediately when I saw the promotional pictures for him. But it didn't stop me from buying him because he looked cool as hell. I mean, just look at this guy. He looks awesome. I mean, it's the same suit design that the Juggernaut Builder Figure Wave Deadpool has been designed after. And... It works well here too. Um, and it's actually why I put this belt buckle on is to call back to that uh, juggernaut Deadpool. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this figure. Um, looking at the details here, like I said, he got some nice, um, some nice uh, fade there to show the details a little bit um, around the mask. 
got it down the center of the chest, um, on the arms, and the musculature, on the hands. You got it on the crotch, a little heavy, in my opinion. Um, but you do also have that um, dry brushing on the chin guards as well. Um, got it on his butt and his thighs, because of course. And you also have it on the back. And also the backs of the biceps, I just noticed. Um, but yeah, really, really nice piece. Um, I just really enjoy it. The details are all great. Nice silver picked out everywhere. Just these dots of silver on the belt itself look great. On the thigh, which should be a thigh holster, but whatever. The only real issue that I had with it and that I was worried about when I got it out of packaging, and those knees aren't loose, so I just kind of flop them weird. Um, but when I got them out of packaging, um, one of the toe joints on mine was stiff as a board, and I could have sworn I was just flexing the plastic and not actually bending the toe joint. But actually looking at it a little bit closer, you see that little red dot there. The foot is cast in black plastic, and this red paint over the top um, somehow managed to get into the crack of that toe joint and had dried. And I was terrified that I was seeing red plastic that was painted black and that I was flexing it and causing a stress mark and my figure was going to break. But luckily, it was just paint stuck. Um, so once I managed to flex it enough to where I broke the paint, it works perfectly fine now. The other one works great. Everything is wonderful. But uh, let's go ahead here and go over some articulation because he does have a little bit of weird stuff going on here. Or I wouldn't call it weird. It's just things that I'm not used to personally. Um, but um, the because of the sheaths that are on a peg, they do just peg on so you can, if you want to, for whatever reason, flip them upside down, I guess. But don't do that because it's weird. So the neck, let me see. The neck is on a ball joint here. But it's a, it's a barbell that's bent in the middle that way you get more upward movement this way without the neck joint moving and then you get just a little bit of downward movement without the neck moving and then you can take this so you unplug it from the neck and this is actually the easiest way i found to turn this barbell but you see that crook there in it you just take it and you rotate it around and you gotta squeeze it really tight and it does hurt the fingers a lot ow um but that's for more upward movement. It's when you have that curve backwards. And then for more downward movement. Ow. Sometimes it takes a little bit of doing. Um, for more downward movement. You do also kind of feel it thoop into place. Um, but see now. When you plug that onto the body. You get more downward movement. And then you get even more downward with that neck being on a ball joint. And then we'll just leave the head off really quick. So that we can take a look at the um, the shoulders here. Um, shoulders. They're actually on this butterfly joint is actually on a ball joint at the bottom of it. So up, so under the armpit here, um, that way you get more, if you want the shoulders to sit up a little bit higher, you can do so because it's on two ball joints. But when you do that and you have the sheaths on the back, it does cause him to look like he can't put his arms down. Um, so I do, and I do prefer to leave the sheaths on. Um, so I do tend to leave it like that, which Either way, without the sheaths on, um, you do get a good neutral look. It's really just your aesthetic pr um, preferences, um, but it still looks good nonetheless. And that butterfly joint does work great. Bends that far forward, almost completely across the chest, and then this far back, not really going back so much. But the shoulders themselves are on a ball joint, but you don't really use that inner ball joint aside for rotation, um, and they do help you a little bit with the butterfly joint but not much um and that the hinge at the uh, shoulder does move up that far move down all the way you get 360 on the bicep you have a double jointed elbow with nice full range of movement uh, the wrists are kind of like figure arts wrists but they're not on ball joints um so you do have a swivel at the wrist but you can still rotate at the bottom of the joint there um to give you a different axis of your wrist pivot so you can them in like that or you can turn that joint and flex them up like that um, your abdomen is on a ball joint so you do get a nice pivot there you can bend them back that far and forward just a little bit um, definitely more backward movement actually let me take a look here it is just on a double barbell 
Um, I thought it was maybe on the same kind of joint as his neck, but it is not. You do have another ball joint at the waist as well. All of his pouches are on hinges, or at least all the ones on the waist on hinges. Um, so they do get out of the way pretty easily for the leg movement. Um, and also, if you want to put them in some jumping poses, you can kind of arrange those however you like, and they look really good. Um, now, the belt buckle, I have heard reports on some people's copy that while you're moving them, you may dislodge that. On mine, it seems pretty snug in there, so I don't really have that issue of when I'm posing them. It moves. It may move slightly like that, but then I just straighten it back up, and we're good to go. Um, now, his hips are on a ball joint and they are a pull down uh, joint as well but they're incredibly stiff on mine um, you hear that squeaking uh, now without them pulled down that's how far forward they'll go um, and then after at that point they will start to go up further but you gotta kind of turn the thigh and they will go not very far back and they pull them down though and you get a little bit more range get them up a little bit straighter you can get them back a little bit more too, I believe. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, but they're crazy title mine. Um, you do also have a thigh swivel in there as well. Get that back up there. He is just all contorted, isn't he? <laughs> Rough day for Deadpool. Um, you have a double jointed knee. Bends in that far, which is about the same as a Marvel Legend, I believe. You do have your swivel at the ankle. Um... So you can rotate his foot. You do go down that far, up that far. You do have ankle pivot and nice toe joint. Uh, not too much movement, but nothing out of the ordinary either. And for comparison, just because I've recently reviewed these, here is with the SH Figure Arts uh, Dragon Ball Z um, Super Vegeta. Um, okay, here he is with Vegeta. Looks pretty cool. Here he is with... Super Gogeta, um, looks cool. Here he is with Broly, again from the SH Figure Arts line, coming up to about the nip. And finally, here he is with the Juggernaut Build a Figure Wave Deadpool, which he is the exact same size as. So, yeah, all in all, though, a great. And I mean a fantastic figure. Um, I really do love this guy. Um, not just one of my favorite comic book characters in general, but just an awesome figure. This is an excellent piece. But as far as this Deadpool goes, highly recommend it. He is currently being held up by a SH Figure Arts stand. So work on that stand Metacom um, or include a screwdriver so I can tighten those screws. But yeah, definitely recommend this guy. I will put a link where you can buy him um, at Big Bad Toy Store in the description below. And that is pretty much it. So if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you know when I upload. Um, recently, it's been every Monday um, for the whole month of July. And it will continue to be every Monday for the, fo for the foreseeable future. Um, I'll also have a link to my Twitter and Instagram in the description below. Anyway, yeah. Thanks a lot. Hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, I'm Autocon360. I'm saying, laters.